Goku, in his momentous gathering of cosmic proportions, the gods of destruction from across the multiverse have convened in the ethereal realm to address the burgeoning topic of Goku's newfound mastery of Ultra Instinct. Amidst the celestial splendor of their divine assembly, the gods of destruction, each emanating an aura of formidable power, express a mixture of curiosity, apprehension, and a hint of trepidation as they deliberate over Goku's remarkable feat. So you all have heard of this mortal Goku, the mortal who lives in my universe, inquires the enigmatic Beerus, the god of destruction from Universe 7, his voice tinged with a mixture of intrigue and incredulity. As my pride warrior, he has achieved the mastery over the legendary Ultra Instinct. The murmurs among the gathered deities echo throughout the cosmic expanse as they exchange wary glances and contemplative nods. Goku's unprecedented attainment of Ultra Instinct, a technique that transcends the limits of mortal comprehension, has sent ripples of speculation and concern throughout the divine hierarchy. He has become a formidable force, remarks Champa, Beerus's boisterous counterpart from Universe 6, his brother, and his expression a mixture of grudging respect and mild consternation. <laughs> we must treat carefully. As the discussion unfolds, Wheat, the enigmatic angel attendant to Universe 7's God of Destruction, offers his insights, his demeanor serene yet discerning. Goku's mastery of all Ultra Instincts is a testament to his unwavering determination and boundless potential. Wee's remarks, his words carrying a weight of both admiration and caution. The Gods of Destruction, cognizant of the implications of Goku's newfound power, Acknowledge the need for vigilance in the face of such an extraordinary development. With Goku's ascent to unprecedented levels of strength, the delicate balance of power in the cosmos hangs in a balance, and the divine pantheon braces itself for the challenges that lie ahead. 
as the discussions among the gods of destruction continues. Catella, the enigmatic deity presiding over Universe 4, interjects with a somber tone, his piercing gaze fixated on a holographic projection of Goku. Goku's mastery over Ultra Instinct may indeed pose a threat to the Divine Order, Catella declares, his voice resonating with a hint of concern. His potential knows no bounds, and if left unchecked, he could ascend to heights that even we, the gods of destruction, may struggle to match. The other deities nod in solemn agreement, acknowledging the gravity of Kitella's words. The prospect of Goku evolving into a force that transcends the divine hierarchy sends a ripple of a knees throughout the assembly. It is imperative that we remain vigilant, remarks Arak, the god of destruction from Universe 5. We cannot afford to underestimate the potential ramifications of Goku's newfound power. The collective sentiment among the gods of destruction is one of wary anticipation, as they grapple with the implications of Goku's inexorable ascent. In a universe teetering on the precipice of uncertainty, the specter of Goku's evolving strength looms large, casting a shadow over the celestial realm and raising profound questions about the fate of the cosmos. The challenges that beset Universe 7 are mine to confront and mine alone, Beerus asserts, his tone carrying the weight of unwavering determination. As the Guardian entrusted with the preservation of my universe, I shall not waver in my duty to maintain the cosmic balance. His proclamation resonates with an air of authority, affirming his unwavering commitment to safeguarding the stability of Universe 7. However, Beerus continues, his gaze turning towards the holographic projections of Goku. I trust that Goku will continue to hone his abilities responsibly. Should the need arise, he can count on my guidance and counsel. Declaration, Beerus reaffirms his role as both a mentor and a guardian, poised to navigate the turbulent waters of cosmic destinies alongside Goku and the other denizens of Universe 7. As the discussion draws to a close, a sense of unity pervades the Divine Assembly, underscoring their shared commitment to confronting whatever challenges lie ahead. Now allow me to offer some perspective. Weez begins, his words carrying a sense of measured wisdom. It was Goku who played a pivotal role in ensuring the survival of not only Universe 7, but also several others during the Tournament of Power. His actions, while unorthodox at times, ultimately proved instrumental in averting the cataclysmic erasure of countless lives. But he's the one who started the tournament! <laughs> oh, please. Zeno-sama already stated that if the tournament didn't happen, the universes would be erased anyway. So in a way, Goku just saved your lives. While Goku's power may be formidable, we must also recognize the unwavering the dedication of protecting life that he has, the willing to protect all he holds dear. In its all forms, rather than viewing him as a threat, perhaps we should regard him as a valuable ally in our ongoing quest to maintain cosmic equilibrium. We seeks to bridge the divide between apprehension and acceptance, fostering a newfound sense of camaraderie among the gods of destruction. As the discussion unfolds, a spirit of mutual respect takes root, laying the groundwork for future collaboration and understanding among the Divine Pantheon. Beerus, the god of destruction known for his capricious nature, chuckles softly as he leans forward, addressing his fellow deities with an air of amusement. <laughs> well, if some of you truly believe that Goku poses a threat, perhaps it is time to put those theories to the test. After all, what better way to assess his capabilities than in a friendly sparring match? <laughs> the suggestion hangs in the air, eliciting a mixture of intrigue and skepticism from the other gods of destruction, of course. Some nod in agreement, intrigued by the prospect of witnessing Goku's power firsthand, while others remain cautious, wary of the potential implications. Think of it as a way to gauge his strength, and understand his true potential. Besides, it's a little friendly competition, and never hurt anyone, right? As murmurs of assent ripple through the assembly, Beerus rise from his seat with a playful grin, his eyes alight with anticipation, 
In his characteristic fashion, the God of Destruction appears eager to embrace the challenge head-on. Confident in his ability to navigate the complexities of divine politics with a touch of levity. And so, amidst the celestial backdrop of the gods gathering, the stage is set for a monumental clash of titans. As Goku finds himself unwittingly thrust into the spotlight once more, poised to confront the very deities who govern the fabric of existence itself. Kitella, usually placid demeanor, shifts abruptly as a fiery indignation consumes him. His voice reverberates through the divine chamber with an intensity that commands attention. Enough with these frivolous games! Kitella roars, his eyes ablaze with fury. If Goku is truly as formidable as you claim, then I will not stand idly by while the fate of all universes hangs in a balance. The God of Destruction of Universe 4 rises from his seat, his imposing figure casting a long shadow across the room. Although he's a little bit small, with a decisive gesture, he declares his intent to confront Son Goku head on. His resolve unyielding in a face of uncertainty. I will challenge Son Goku myself. And if he dares to oppose me, he will learn the true meaning of destruction. <laughs> the air crackles with tension as Kitala's proclamation reverberates throughout the Divine Assembly signaling a dramatic escalation in the cosmic states. With a stage set for an epic showdown between gods and mortals, the fate of the multiverse hangs in a balance as the brewing conflict between Kitala and Son Goku threatens to ignite into a cataclysmic clash of unimaginable proportions. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe in? What do you imagine about all of this? Don't you forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Never ending quest for power, immersed himself in intensive training with Whis on the planet of destruction. During these training sessions, Goku noticed that there was something peculiar about the way Whis performed his angelic techniques. Observing closely, Goku realized that Whis had a unique ability to copy and replicate the techniques he witnessed. This ability to imitate the abilities of other angels and even gods of destruction aroused the Saiyan's curiosity. Whis, how do you do that? Questioned Goku, as he once again observed an impressive angelic technique. Oh, this is an innate ability of angels. We can understand and reproduce the techniques we have witnessed. It is a natural part of our uh, mastery over energy. Goku, always eager to learn and improve himself, was excited about the possibility of acquiring such a skill. With Whis's consent, Goku began practicing the art of imitation. He focused on absorbing every detail of the angel's techniques, seeking to incorporate this new skill into his own arsenal. Over the course of training, Goku gradually began to manifest the ability to copy Whis's angelic techniques. He could replicate movements, defenses, and even some aspects of the angel's unique technique and energy. Oh, that's amazing, Goku! You learn quickly! Goku's new ability brought an exciting twist to his future battles. Now, he would not only had powerful techniques of his own, but he could also adapt and respond to his opponent's abilities in completely unexpected ways. Goku's journey to become stronger never seemed to end, and each new ability opened the door to even more exciting challenges and epic battles in the universe. The ability to copy angelic techniques wasn't the only fruit of Goku's training with weeks. As the training sessions progressed, Goku demonstrated remarkable progress in absorbing not only the knowledge, but also the essence of the angel's abilities. One day, during intensive training, we surprised Goku by deactivating his own Ultra Instinct and challenging Goku to combat in his base form. Let us see if you can keep up, Goku. We teased, adopting a fighting stance. Goku, determined to test his limits, concentrated and entered the fight. To his surprise, he was not only be able to keep up with Whis's quick and precise movements, but he also began to imitate his attacks and defenses. Whis, noticing Goku's skill, smiled and continued to fight, pushing both of them to the limit. Goku was absorbing not only the physical movements, but also the essence of Whis's combat technique, incorporating it into his own fighting style. At the end of the intense battle, Goku, still in his base form, was panting, 
but still a smile on his face. You did an excellent job, Goku! Your ability to learn and adapt is truly remarkable! Praised Whis. This new achievement revealed an unexpected aspect of Goku's training. Not only could he copy angelic techniques, but he could also internalize the knowledge to the point of recreating them on his own. This opened up new possibilities for Goku, making him even more versatile and unpredictable in the battles he would face in the future. As Goku continued to train alongside Whis, the prospect of exciting challenges and constant innovations on the battlefield became an exciting reality. The universe was about to witness the emergency of a warrior whose potential seemed truly limitless. As training continued, Goku delved deeper into understanding Ultra Instinct, exploring its nuances and elevating its power to previously unimaginable levels. One day, during an intensive training session on planet Beerus, Goku decided to show Whis the fruits of his hard work. Concentrating deeply, Goku activated Ultra Instinct in its full form, surrounding himself in a divine aura that reflected the perfect harmony between mind and body. Whis, normally calm, was surprised by the intensity of the ki emanating from Goku. He could feel the impeccable fluidity of Ultra Instinct. But there was something more, an untapped energy that transcended expectations. Interesting, Goku. It looks like you're not only mastering Ultra Instinct, but also elevating into new heights," said Whis, intrigued by the Saiyan. The two began a friendly fight, but it was clear that Goku had reached a level that surprised even Whis. His movements were fluid, his reflexes lightning fast, and the power he radiated rivaled the presence of a god. Whis, smiling, praised Goku for his remarkable progress. You've really managed to overcome the barriers of Ultra Instinct, Goku! I'm impressed! Goku, still enveloped in the divine aura, smiled humbly. Thank you, Whis. There's still a lot to learn, but I am determined to become even stronger. The training continued, with Goku exploring the newfound limits of his enhanced power. Meanwhile, the universe watched with awe and apprehension as it was clear that Goku's power was far from reaching its peak. What the future held for the Saiyan warrior who continued to challenge his own limits was an exciting unknown for everyone. Goku, after intense training that raised his power to unprecedented heights, began to notice subtle but significant changes on his body. As he concluded the last training session, he turned to Whis to share his observations. Whis, I noticed something strange. After using Ultra Instinct to this level, I'm feeling anomalies in my body. Anomalies? What kind of anomaly, Goku? It's hard to explain. I feel like my energy is unstable, like there's something else trying to manifest. Hmm. Oh. Perhaps we need to explore this issue further. Let's go to Beerus' temple. There we can use the divine energy sources to analyze what's happening. Arriving at Beerus' temple, Whis and Goku began a series of analyses using the advanced technologies available. As the results came in, Whis noticed something unusual about Goku's energy patterns. It seems that your fusion with Ultra Instinct has left a unique mark in your ki. There is an additional energy, a residue of sorts, that I cannot fully identify. Hmm. Could it be that during the enhancement process, you unlocked something new, Goku? Goku, intrigued, began to explore this new facets of his power. As he focused on the mysterious energy, a subtle transformation occurred. His hair, suddenly golden due to Ultra Instinct, began to emit a silverly light, and his aura took on a celestial quality. Interesting. Perhaps this is the key to unlocking an even more powerful form. Goku, determined to fully understand this transformation, continued to explore his newfound limits. As Universe 7 prepared for future events, Goku was about to embark on a journey to unlock the secrets behind this new phase of his power. Super Saiyan 5 with the influence of Ultra Instinct. If this is your journey, Goku, I see no reason not to accompany you, said Whis with his characteristic serene smile. After all, 
Discovering the limits of one's power is an essential part of training. And I'm curious to see how far you can go. <laughs> Thank you, Whis. With your guidance, I think I can unlock the full potential of this unique form. With their partnership renewed, Goku and Whis began training intensely. Whis used his knowledge and skills to help Goku better understand the nature of this new energy and how to integrate it into his fighting style. Together, they explored the reach of Super Saiyan 5 with the influence of Ultra Instinct. As days passed, Goku began to feel greater control over his enhanced form. His connection with Ultra Instinct became more harmonious, allowing him to access this divine energy more efficiently. Whis, in turn, was impressed with how quickly Goku was progressing. During one of the training sessions, Goku immersed in his new form. And he said to Whis, I never imagined that the combination of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan could result in something like this. This is incredible. Indeed, Goku. You are exploring uncharted territories. This unique fusion of energies could be the key to achieving levels of power that not even the gods anticipated. As the duo continued their journey of discovery, Universe 7 watched with anticipation as the next chapter of Goku's evolution unfolded. Super Saiyan 5 with the influence of Ultra Instinct promised to challenge the limits of what was thought possible, bringing with it the potential to redefine the concept of power in the multiverse. Goku, after intense training in the time chamber and under the guidance of Whis, began to discover new ways to explore his body's potential. One day during a training session, Goku smiled at Whis and said, Whis, I have an idea. I can try combining Ultra Instinct with Super Saiyan Blue. What do you think of that? Whis, always interested in Goku's progress, agreed and watched closely. Goku concentrated his energy, diving into the Ultra Instinct state and at the same time transforming into Super Saiyan Blue. The result was a unique aura, a dazzling mix of blue and silver tones. We, surprised by the combination, applauded. Very interesting, Goku! You managed to balance the calmness of Ultra Instinct with the explosive strength of Super Saiyan Blue. This fusion of energy is an incredible unique. Goku, still maintaining his combined form, began to move quickly around the training area, demonstrating unparalleled agility and power. With each movement, he channeled energy in a balanced way, overcoming the individual limitations of each state. Whis and Brest commented, You're really above and beyond, Goku! This technique is remarkable, but remember, balance is key. Don't let this new form consume you. Goku was grateful for Whis's guidance and continued to train, exploring the limits of this new combination. The fusion of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan Blue marked yet another significant advancement in Goku's arsenal, taking him to new heights of power. The destiny of Universe 7 was being shaped by every choice and advancements of its powerful warriors. Vegeta, observing Goku's new technique, couldn't help but be intrigued, and at the same time determined to surpass his training partner. With a serious look, he approached Goku and said, Kakarot! It looks like you're having a lot of fun there. Let's see if this fusion of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan Blue is really as incredible as it looks. Goku, always excited about challenges, smiled at Vegeta and accepted the challenge. The two warriors begin to face each other, releasing their respective energies as they prepare to fight. The training area on Beerus' planet was about to witness an epic clash between two of Universe 7's most powerful warriors. The fight began with intensity, with Goku demonstrating the unique fluidity of fusion of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan Blue. Vegeta in turn displayed his own evolution and refined techniques. Each blow exchanged generated waves of energy that echoed across Beerus' planet. As the battle raged, Goku and Vegeta continued to push their limits, exploring every aspect of their enhanced powers. The balance between calm and intensity in Goku's combined form proved to be an advantage, but Vegeta was not willing to give up so easily. Whis and Beerus watched the fight carefully, enjoying the spectacle provided by the Saiyans. The tension increased with each movement, 
and it was clear that they were both determined to overcome their own limits. As the fight unfolded, Yoku's unique fusion inspired Vegeta to seek further improvement. Training on planet Beerus was far from monotonous, and the fate of the warriors continued to be written in each blow exchanged and each advance achieved. Universe 7 was once again facing an exciting chapter in its history. Beerus, watching the battle between Goku and Vegeta, could not help but express his fascination with the Super Saiyans. He turned to Wheat, smiling quizzically. Please, this Kakarot is surprising even me, a god of destruction. This combination of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan Blue is something I never imagined. And look at Vegeta, he is surpassing himself every moment too. These Saiyans are really impressing me. Indeed, Lord Beerus. It seems that their training is bearing impressive fruits. The fusion of techniques is something unique, a true manifestation of their desire to constantly surpass themselves. Well, it looks like we won't be getting bored anytime soon. It's good to see the Saiyans are keeping things interesting around here. The fight continued to rage, and the gods watched as Goku and Vegeta raised their powers to new heights. The destiny of Universe 7 was being shaped by the hands of these extraordinary warriors, and Beerus couldn't wait to see how far they could go. As Goku and Vegeta continued to trade blows, Beerus' planet vibrated with the energy released during the battle. Training on the planet of destruction was turning into a spectacle fit for the gods, and the universe waited to see what else these incredible saints could accomplish. Energy pulsed across the battlefield as Goku, driven by the power of Whis' Ultra Instinct and Vegeta, matching Beerus' Ultra Ego, increased the intensity of the fight. The heavens shook with each shock of his attacks, creating a symphony of divine power. Beerus, watching from the Haveling Throne, smiled with satisfaction. Interesting to see how quickly they adapted to our fighting styles. It seems that my Ultra Ego and Whis' Ultra Instinct are not so incomprehensible to them after all. Indeed, Lord Beerus. These Saiyans have remarkable ability to adapt and learn quickly. The combinations of their fighting styles and the powers of the gods is truly unique. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta continued to exchange blows and energy blasts. Goku, enveloped in the silver aura of Ultra Instinct, dodged the attacks with superhuman grace. Vegeta, with the flaming power of his Ultra Ego, launched powerful counterattacks, each blow charged with the fury of a god of destruction. The fight reached new levels of spectacularity, challenging the known limits of power in the universe. Goku and Vegeta continued to trade blows, each using their new abilities to the fullest. The intensity of the fight was so great that the heavens vibrated with the energy released by the two Saiyans. The ground shook under the pressure of their combined powers. Beerus, watching the fight closely, raised an eyebrow. These Saiyans are truly amazing. If they continue to evolve like this, I don't know how long I will be able to maintain my position as God of Destruction. Oh, you're worrying about that, Lord Beerus. Perhaps it is time for the guts to recognize that from time to time, it is necessary to give way to the new. If they surpass our powers, it will only demonstrate the limitless potential of mortals. <laughs> Vegeta, panting, looked at Goku with respect. Kakarot, <laughs> it looks like we're on the same level now. <laughs> this battle isn't going to get us anywhere. <sighs> You're right, Vegeta. We may have reached the limits of what we can achieve for now, but who knows what the future holds, right? <laughs> well said, Saiyans. Beerus intervened, revealing a smile. Keep surprising. I look forward to seeing how far you can go. And if one day you surpass even the gods, so be it. The battle reached its moment of pause, leaving a feeling of expectation in the air. The destiny of the Saiyans was intrinsically linked to the destiny of the universe itself. 
and the repercussions of this fight would reverberate throughout all corners of the cosmos. Whis, watching the intense battle between Goku and Vegeta, smiled enigmatically. It's fascinating to see how far Saiyans can go. Constant evolution is one of the most intriguing characteristics of this race. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to get used to this idea. The mortals are surpassing the gods. <sighs> These Saiyans are truly exceptional. As the dust settled on the battlefield, Goku and Vegeta exchanged determined looks. They knew that although the fight might have ended in a drawl at that point, both were just beginning to explore the limits of their new powers. Weeds approached the Saiyans and said, This was an incredible battle, boys! But there is still a lot to learn. Keep training, involve, and who knows, one day you will reach heights that not even the gods dare to imagine. <laughs> All right, Whis. Goku, always excited about the challenge, replied. Let's keep on striving and get even further. Vegeta, more seriously, added. Oh, we will not be left behind. We will become the most powerful warriors. Even if it means challenging the gods themselves. <laughs> Beerus, as he watched the Saiyans curiously, muttered to himself. These two Saiyans truly have no limits. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for them and the entire universe. And so, Goku and Vegeta, driven by renewed determination, continued their training journey, challenging not only the limits of the Saiyans but also the limits of the universe itself. Their destinies was intertwined with the future of all beings, and the cosmos eagerly awaited to see what the Saiyans would achieve in their tireless quest for power. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.